Welcome to Triple G. Today's an odd one. It's a slug day. I don't mean slugs in the garden, all that lark. None of that. No, no, no. Air gun slugs. There has been so much on the internet, in magazines, on forums, goodness knows where. All about slugs. And if you read everything, I think you're more confused than when you started. I know I certainly was. You can't run them fast. You can't run them slow. Well, where do you run them, right? You can't use that barrel, but you can use that barrel. But then someone says, no, you can use that barrel. You can't use that barrel. Do you need a superior liner? Do you need that with an FX? A polygonal polygon barrel, do you need that? Can you shoot them for a polygon barrel? Well, let's find out today. I've got a load of different slugs to try. Uh, blind test, I don't know what's what. My mate CJ is gonna hand me 10 slugs at a time and I'm gonna shoot them at a target. If they're good, they go for it the next round. If they're not, they don't. Out ski, done and dusted. So. Again, we've got a lot of slugs to get through today. Um, we're in this lovely little wood, nice and sheltered, but round the corner, it's as windy as you do like. And also, I've noticed behind the camera, there's a load of pigeons coming in. So let's get this done, and we may nab a couple of pigeons as well. That'd be a result, wouldn't it? You know me, that's never gonna happen. But anyway, let's get on target, let's get it sorted, have a look at the kit, and go from there. Right, we've got some heavy hitters here. In the red corner, Day State Red Wolf. See what I did there, Clever and I. Seriously, jokes, I'm here all day. Um, Day State Red Wolf, uh, HP. Uh, this thing, I've had it for a good while now. It's worked a treat, a treat, a treat. It's accurate, it's bang on. I get a few shots, and the shot count isn't great. I've got to be honest with that. But it's enough, it works, it works really well. In the blue corner, oh, what's this bad boy? FX Impact Sniper in 2.5. Now that's 2.2, that's 2.5. Can you compare them? I think you can actually. We also, we've also got a 2.2 barrel we can stick in it anyway. 2.5 is getting a load of traction and a lot more people are buying 2.5s now. Is it the best of both worlds between 2.2 and 3.0? 3.0 drops like goodness knows what. Um, 2.5 actually, nice. I'm, I'm getting used to the caliber. I mean 2.2, I'm used to, I've shot it a load, a load, a load. But the 2.5 is very interesting. This shoots slugs. Does this shoot slugs? Well, you know it does, right? But which is more accurate? 2.5 or 2.2, which would be more accurate? Now, this has got some oomph, yeah? Uh, when I got it, 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 it didn't. It, uh, it's like the handbrake was on. It wasn't good. Out the box, I'm sorry. Not a happy bunny. Um, it's working now, thank God, because somebody's uh, set it up for me. I, I'm not clever enough, but we'll come on to that because I want to talk about that later, funny enough, and out the box gun what do you need right if you want to go out shooting that day that one if you've got a degree in computer science and you're cleverer than me most people are the average froggies you need one of them right because if you're a tinkerer and you love all that that's the thing you need verniers and cheese sandwiches and godness knows what else yeah you know, i haven't got any of that but you do need all that to set that up now yeah we'll come on to that later but anyway two five two two we know that's accurate, you've seen it before. Well, if you haven't seen it before, you should have done. Triple G's got a lot of this, you know, come on. Um, you haven't seen this before. Um, I, I like this gun, I do like this gun, and I'm very impressed, and I, I didn't want to like it. it. Sounds stupid, but I didn't want to like it as much as I do. It's very good. I can't set it up, well, I can now, a bit, but again, we'll talk about that later, but it, it's nice. The only problem when I got it, I think it's child's version, it's really, really small. And so I had to add the, the PRS stuff because it was way, way too small. And that's transformed it. And also where they put the bipod, right? It's like seesaw, ridiculous. I couldn't, I couldn't get decent, yeah, I couldn't get decent accuracy. Now again, the PRS one on there, that's lovely. The uh, rail works a treat. Now you don't get that with this. You get a stud in the front and off you go. Simple as that. Again, it's got a PRS butt pad because it's nice because you can, you can lock it in there. It's a treat. I think, I'll be interested to see what's what. I want to see what's more accurate. 50 yards, they're all going to be the same. 100, 150, maybe 200. What are we talking about then? Will it be 2-2 or 2-5? You decide. Right, we're ready to go. It's slug time. Right, FX first, because I've obviously got the phone scope on there. Ain't all that. Doesn't matter. Uh, we'll do our best. You'll see what the groups are. Now, CJ has got in the, the, the bag of mystery and got 10 slugs. Don't know what they are. Don't know who made them. Don't know what weight they are. And he's going to bring them over in a minute. And what's going to happen is I'm going to load that 
shoot 10 slugs at 50 yards onto a shoot and see target or, or target like that. And we'll see what they group like. You'll see it obviously through that. Obviously you'll see it. Um, I don't know what they are. Could be good, could be bad. Who knows? Let's have a look. My lovely assistant. Thank you very much. I say lovely. Budgets are clearly low, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, right, let's get on with it. I don't know what these are. They look all right. Mind you saying that, they all look all right. I wonder what they'll go like. Now the gum, He's just got a basic tune on it. It's a sort of an all-roundy tune. It's not set up for each slug, obviously. Um, I'm not that clever. Ted Beer is. Matt Dubber is. Haddock is. Wolf is. I'm not. And they know about FXs and stuff. I don't really know a load about them. But I'm learning. I am learning. And it is good fun. It is definitely good fun. But it's well handy if you actually meet someone that actually does know. And they go, no, no, you're doing that completely wrong. And this is the way to do it. It does make a hell of a difference. But on this gun, it's just a basic tune. It should shoot pretty much everything. In this liner, it's a superior liner standard. So it's not the heavy one. Uh, and that's all, it, that's all I know, really. But it's a standard superior. Clever and I. Surprising you. If my mum's watching, she'd be proud of me, you know. Right. Even got the mag in the right way. How about that? How does this work? What do you press on that one? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I am so stupid. Handsome, handsome, I grant you, but stupid. Right, record. Oh, look at me. Let's see what these are like. Well, they are obviously heavy because they are falling down. Oh, hello. That way went a bit awry. Right. Um, whatever they were, they were heavy. They certainly were heavy because they were falling right down. It's only 50 yards. There's two like distinct groups. No. Now I know obviously, don't worry, you know, I'm not saying that they're rubbish slugs because they're probably not rubbish slugs if you tune the gun to it. See the Red Wolf, you've got slow, medium or fast. That's it, if it don't work in any of those, forget it. You ain't gonna get, you ain't gonna get it grouping. With this, obviously you can tailor make it to do it and you can actually, you know, you can tune the gun to those slugs. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do is get it out of the box and shoot it. So today, right, those slugs, whatever they were, not going around to the second, not going to the second round. No, no, no. It's a, uh, yeah, no. Too heavy and two distinct groups. That's enough of that. Next ones, please. Now these are a funnier colour. 
I say a funny colour, they're not, I mean they're just darker. Does that make a difference? Don't know. Flat base. They look nice, they do look nice. Oh, wind's getting up. Could be good. I saw on uh, YouTube the other day, there's a speed loader thing you can get for these. They look really good. But don't, don't you have to load the speed loader before? So are you not doubling up on work? Or is that just me? I mean, they look good and you can load a mag real quick, but surely you've got to load the loader to load the loader, if you see what I mean. Just an observation. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go 12 o'clock. Now, that's a funny one. Everywhere but, everywhere but, I was aiming at the, uh, obviously 12 o'clock on the uh, shoot and see, and he went round it and it avoided it like the plague. Now, you see, my, my background is HFT. I've shot HFT for 15 years, 14 years, 15, 16 years maybe. I think it is 16 years. Um, with 177, only out to 45 yards, I grant you, but we, we practice at 50 to make sure the groups are tiny and the groups are tiny. Now, I'm not expecting this to be like an HFT gun, but I'm expecting it to be accurate. I mean, like pellet on pellet or slug on slug. Now, some people say you can't do that with, a, with, a, uh, with slugs because they're, they're not like pellets. And you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like a control group with some JSBs in a minute at 50 yards, because we know they work. But the fact is, would you be happy with that group? Obviously, you know, you've, you've just watched it while I did it. Would you be happy? I don't know. Some people I've seen on YouTube have gone, yeah, that's lovely. Oh, brilliant. And I'm like, what? The group's as big as your head. And I'm like, I can't be doing that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't expect it to be HFT accuracy. I don't expect it to be target accuracy. I expect it to be good though. But, you know, where do we go with that? Yeah, last one's not impressed. Next one's please. Right, let's see what these bad boys will do. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, now, I recognise these because I think waxy coating. I would, I would chance my arm H and N. I've shot these in two two. The twenty seven grains work really well in that. Um, I can't remember if it's 218s, I think, I don't know, I can't remember. Memory span of a flip-flop, but yeah, and they look very similar, smaller, but yeah, I recognize the color of these. I've shot way too many slugs. Nah, you can never shoot too many slugs. Let me see stupid. Right. I filled her up, she wasn't low, that's a good thing with this, I must be honest. The FX, it's got a really good shot count. I'm very impressed with the shot count, actually. It's really good. And my reg's running at 135. The front bit is open to four, and the side bit, I haven't got a clue. I'm not even gonna pretend I know. Right, onwards and upwards.
no. No, no, no. That's a resounding no. No, that's no, that, no, no. Trey Horeeb, horrible. Didn't like them at all. No, no, right, next one. Yeah, that wasn't good. They weren't good at all. Um, now you'll all be going, well, you can tune the gun to the slugs. Yes, you can tune the gun to the slugs. I know you can tune the gun to the slugs, but it's just a general tune. You know, just a general tune. Like, take that. That's a general band. You know what I mean. Anyway. Um, yeah, they weren't good at all. They were not nice. I didn't like those at all. Um, they were a bit, no, everywhere-y. Um, yeah. And I, and I looked at it, and I thought, this is going to be all right, actually, the first one. Well, no, the first one, didn't even see where that went. Didn't even see it. But, obviously, I'm going to watch the video back later. But I didn't see where that went at all. Second one was all right. I thought, oh, yeah. We're on, we're cooking with gas, except we weren't. Right, we're all loaded, ready to go. Wish me luck. Bit of grass in the way, but we might go over the top of that. No, we didn't. We didn't go over the top of that. Let's try somewhere else then. Let's go middle. A little bit low, okay. Looks to me like it's almost through the same hole. Ah, uh, now we're talking. Ooh la la, may we, monsieur, may we. Very nice, yeah. That was nice, I like that a lot. That was actually very good. It was the best so far by a country mile. So, uh, yeah. I have my suspicions what they are. They're very good. Right, we've done a few now. Um, I think we'll do these ones. We've still got loads and loads to do. We'll do these ones, and then we're gonna do some pellets afterwards, some JSB Mark II King Heavies. Um, I know they work, I was using them the other day, and they work. But let's get the next ones out. My lovely assistant, please bring them. Don't hurry, eh? Thank you very much. Ooh. Now, yeah. Thank you very much. The funny thing is with these, they've got a hell of a hollow point on them. Oh my word, they're Massivo. So that'd be interesting. I wonder what these will be like. That is a massive hollow point. Yeah, these will be interesting. Again, I think I know what these are. I've got very high hopes. So far, yeah, so far there's there've been some, well, there's been one really good one so far, as you saw. Um, the others have been, all right, not great. But I know what you're gonna say, you can tune the gun, and yes, you can tune the gun to those slugs. This is a general tune for all of them. I've keep saying it, so anybody goes, writes in the comments, yeah, but you can tune them. I know you can. I know you can, I know that. Let me just do this, eh? Come back to me. Bit of grass, but don't matter.
not what I thought. I thought it was going to be better. I think I'm wrong in what I thought the slugs were. I thought I was being clever there, but clearly I'm not. Um, yeah, they're there or thereabouts. Don't get me wrong. They weren't absolutely dotting around everywhere like the other ones were. You saw those. Um, you know, you get one there, one there, one there. All right, well, that's, yeah, obviously you don't want that. Yeah, they, they were all sort of nearly touching. It's only 50 yards. Surely they can do better than that. I thought I, I thought I knew what they were. I think I got it wrong. Wouldn't be the first time, eh? Um, right, I'm going to do pellets in this last, JSB Mark II King Heavies, and then we're on to the L22. We'll have a go at that. Um, we haven't finished by any means. We've got a lot to do still. Right, we've done a few slugs now. Not all of them, as I say, by any, by any means. Now, I know these are good. Exact Mark II King Heavies. These are lovely. Used them the other day. Uh, my good mate Ray um, said, why don't you just try them? And I went, no, no, they're no good, they're no good. I mean, they're going to be good, but I mean, I was just going, no, I want to shoot slugs, I want to shoot slugs. He said, have a go of them. Blew my mind. They were really, really good. So I'm expecting very great things here. Let's see what we can do. And as always, Ray is right. It was a miles off the POI, obviously, because different weight, different this, different that. Uh, yeah, they're great. They're great. 